Welcome to boardshop.co.uk. Uh, special guest here today, impersonating Maurice Cole. Oh no, it is actually Maurice Cole. Christ, where is he? Believe it. Um, we're looking at one of his new shapes with one of his uh, amazing features. This is the Vcon 3 with fluted flyers. These little wings here. Um, way beyond my pay grade, so Morris is going to explain why and how. Okay, so once again, this is, I call this a pretty much a breakthrough. I'd been thinking about doing it for years because I've got an old, uh, I've got an old one from Reno Abalera since 1978. It was a triple winger, triple fluted flyer, swallow tail. And it was one of the grippiest and I could use very small fins. So I've always played around with it and I did some finless boards um, a couple, uh, about 15 years ago from Musica Surfica. And no one could believe they could, it, it was like a fin, a three dimensional fin. So it is, what it actually is, it's hard to see here, but this actually curves down. So it actually sits in the middle of the rail and it actually creates curve here, which means it shortens the turns up. But the amazing thing is this thing grips and that was what it was made from. It was like a sponson on a jet ski. Yeah. There's this little piece at the back of the ski. When you turn it, if you don't have it, it slides out. So I'm able to use really much smaller fins. So they're really fast, it grips, it surfs long, but when you really step on the tail, the, the turning radius is much shorter because of this wing and it hangs on. So you can use, I use a 4.5 fin with a trailer and then if it gets hollow, I'll go down to four and a quarter, four and a quarter, four and a quarter, and I have a bigger back fin for obviously barrels. Yep. And you know, I ride a version of, of, of this, I've got an 8.0, I've just done a 9.6. Um, I'm playing around with, once again, it's got the, the V-con bottom, which is a V, to a quite, a, quite a substantial concave here, and we've got hard edges from nose to tail. And the hard edges, as soon as you jump up on your front foot, it, is, it just comes back at you. It's so much faster. Nick Carroll said, never make me a board without the edges. And I said, why? So he said, why would I want to go slow? I go, fair enough. That, that encapsulates that pretty much. So this thing with the swallow tail on that, um, this is an all round board that you can surf as a little twin. You can surf it as a twin. You can put a little stabiliser there, you can surf it as a thruster, but one of the things that I'm finding with everyone, and these have been in the water for nearly two years now before I release them as a model, and everybody's just amazed how small the fins you can use. At less wetted surface area, the faster the board goes. So these are, hey, talking to Matt on the way up, He's, I think you're lucky to get it back off him. Yeah. <laughs> So that's, that's the, v, the VC3, the VCON3. It's, once again, it's got all my boards now have beaks. We're working on all the beaks because it puts a little bit of more volume up through here, which means you can get up on the front of the board and glide in. Really easy takeoffs. Um, yeah, and uh, they come square off the bottom. And so if it's you like, want to go high performance, or if you just want to cruise, and just so it's like down. a sub substitute, it's an alternative for like a high performance shortboard kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, it's it's as high performance as a shortboard with all the characteristics of a hybrid, which paddles better, gets into waves better. Yeah. It's just so what damn What easy. we all need. Yeah. yeah. All right. What Perfect. we all need. There we go. Thanks, so Morris. That's the Vicon 3. Um, available online right now, board shop. Trade in your old board, Park Exchange, North Cent Finance, all that stuff. And we're here for advice, custom orders. Basically, we can do whatever you want, pretty much. Um, hit that red button to subscribe. See more videos with me and Morris in them. There we go.